Have you ever purchased something from AlliedExpress.com? Well, I have. And I'm here to review one of the many 3D printers that you can purchase from their website. This 3D printer is called the Genie Printer. There are so many 3D printers on the market that I have decided to do a product review on the ones that I have had the opportunity to own and operate. And I hope to save you some time, money, by sharing my experiences with you. With that said, there are several aspects of 3D printers that I can include in, the, in this review, but my focus is to cover the pros and cons uh, that stood out to me for this particular printer. Hello, my name is Stephen Raymond and I have several years of experience as a mechanical engineer and I'm here to add value by sharing my experiences in the area of 3D printing. Okay, let's dive into this review as usual. Let's start with why I purchased the Jenny printer. I purchased the, the Jenny printer because of the looks and size. As you can see, as you can see on this slide, I was sucked in by the appearance of the fully assembled, sturdy structure and good looking extruder, which looked extremely like the Ultimaker, which is on this side. The Genie printer is on this side. The controller looks the same, the little controller knob the same LCD screen and SD card. Everything's in the same location. The sheet metal shrouds around the motors. Uh, the glass build plate is the same. Even the, the linear rods or vertical rods in the back. Everything looks very similar, including the extruder. Since both of the both of the 3D printers looked similar, and Ultimaker was running about three thousand dollars U.S. at the time. I thought, oh, I'm gonna get a Genie printer, which is a offshore knockoff, and have the same deal. So it looked aesthetically pleasing, and the size was pretty good it was bigger than what i was already using which was uh it's 230 by 225 by 360 millimeters or nine by eight and a half by 14 inches so i was able to step up another size uh, build plate which was good for me as you can see here, the Ultimaker extruder on the left and hot end. You can see that configuration. It's a little blurry, but it's there. And a Jenny printer extruder in the hot end. It looks just like the Ultimaker uh, extruder in hot end, as you can see here. So I thought I was getting something extremely similar. But guess what? Now that you know why I purchased the uh, Jenny 3D printer, let's go through the pros. The first pro is the enclosure. It has a semi-enclosure where only the top and front are open. Therefore, you could possibly add a rigid or flexible plastic to the top or front of the openings and possibly be able to print with uh, ABS instead of just PLA. The hot end never clogged on me when I was using it. Even though the prints were of uh, poor quality, the print speed was normal. I only used the default settings at the time so I, I didn't have any problem with the print speed. 
the heated bed it worked fine I used default settings on that too just printing uh, your typical PLA I never tried to uh, print uh, any other material besides PLA the removable build plate was made of glass <clears throat> like on the Altmaker and it was the, the good part about that or the pro about that the particular build plate is that it was removable you didn't I didn't have to sit there and try to pry off the part while it's on the bed and inside of the machine because it has like I said it has a semi enclosure to it so that was a good feature I could pull the pull the uh, removable build plate out and have enough room to pry off the part or parts Uh, the stepper motors worked smoothly and they were covered by sheet metal uh, shrouds inside which uh, helped reduce the noise and the bed leveling was it was okay because I was accustomed to doing the manual bed leveling uh, like uh, with my uh, previous 3d printers so that was a problem that concludes the pros let's move on to the cons the following are the cons for the genie printer the first is the price it seems to be a little pricey for the uh, poor quality that it has you can as you can see here on this slide, the Jenny printer was $1,300. And compared to the Ultimaker, which was the same size and all the same, you know, the original parts versus the fake parts here uh, was like $3,000. So I thought I was getting a good deal, but unfortunately not. So as you can see that it, it is overpriced for the quality. The second con was that the print quality was poor and it had a lot of porosity, which means that the parts weren't strong enough to do what I needed them to do. Uh, when I would assemble something, as you can see here, uh, I would try to assemble it and it would start falling apart and delaminating. And in some cases, I could pull the parts and I could start delaminating the part. It, it just was too fragile. It had a lot of porosity. So that was the second con. On to the next one. The third con is the filament feeder. Even though the filament feeder is, a, is not a direct drive and it's also located on the re rear of the uh, printer, the problem is, is that I had to disassemble and repair the filament feeder several times. And also have seen in the comments where other people have developed, uh, you know, replacement parts for this type of feeder. They've, they came up with different uh, versions of it so that they can operate their Genie printer. The fourth con is the hot end. And the hot end looked like the Ultimaker, but I'm assuming that it was a cheap knockoff version because of the poor quality prints. The removable build plate, it is, um, again made of glass it was not flexible like what we have now we basically a lot of 3d printers had the flexi flexible build plates so they can uh, easily remove their parts and the controller the controller is what i think was the real problem i think it needed to be tuned and again they probably used cheap parts to create the controller Customer service was terrible. 
non-existent and basically it was a poor offshore knockoff of the ultimate don't buy don't 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 buy i hope you found this video helpful and i hope it will save you some money and time in the world of 3d printing so please like hit the like button subscribe and share this video and don't forget to use the power of 3d printing